What's going on guys? Welcome to Dad Knows Best. Uh, today, it's only a few days away from election day. Uh, so I thought I'd throw a quick video up here. We haven't posted in this channel in a long time, but uh, I just felt compelled. Again, voting day is only a few days away from uh, when this video gets published or from when I even recorded it. I haven't voted yet. I didn't vote early. I'll go vote on election day. Not that I have anything like against early voting. So I've been talking to my kids a lot about voting and more pol political stuff uh, recently. Obviously it's in the news, you can't kind of help it. I have three kids over the age of 18 or 18 and up. Uh, and then I have a kid that is younger than 18. So definitely the three that are older are all of voting age. They're all registered to vote. The youngest of those, my 18 year old, is really excited to vote for his first time. The middle one doesn't really care about politics at all. Kind of zones out whenever all the rest of us talk about it. But had a questions about should they go vote or not. My recommendation was if they wanted to, they could. But being an uninformed voter, if they don't want to, there's not an issue with not voting. I know there's a big push. Voting is so important and all that stuff, but um, Quite frankly, if you're uninformed and don't care, it's probably better that you don't vote over voting and uh, not knowing what you're voting for. Now I could give them just a list of people to vote for or tell them to vote straight ticket one way or the other and they would probably do it. But uh, I think it's a good lesson to learn that if you're not informed and you don't care, then it's not really a process for you. Tell me if I'm wrong there. My oldest is 24. I don't know, I don't remember if they voted in 2020, but uh, 2024, they'll probably definitely be voting. Needless to say, most of my household is uh, more conservative leaning. They're all voting for Trump. And for the first time ever this year, I'll be voting for Trump. I didn't vote for him in 2016. I didn't vote for him in 2020, but he's gonna get my vote this year. All that being said, um, <clears throat> I really don't like the presidential uh, election time. I really don't care too much about who's president at any given time. Obviously it matters in the direction that the country goes because of the way that we have um, contorted our system. It makes the president way more powerful and important than they need to be. One of the things I also preach to the kids is not just be informed on uh, presidential politics, but more local politics. I'm way more engaged in local politics here in Texas, in our city, in our county. I'm an advocate for watching online or going to city council meetings. Despite what uh, rhetoric is out there and um, kind of uh, the perception from a lot of people, I am a conservative that's very into urbanism and city design and things like that. And the way you affect that mostly is through your local government. And thus, that's what I tend to focus on the most. Again, I will be voting for Donald Trump, but I also will be voting for plenty of other stuff that I think is way more important down the ballot. And again, I encourage my kids on the same path, which I would encourage anybody watching this video as well. With that, that's a short, quick video. I haven't done one again in a while on this channel. If you want to see more, I'm kind of up for it. I've got a lot going on, obviously. So this is kind of my fourth, fifth, sixth priority. But I do think this is an important election year. And I think if you are informed and you feel compelled to go vote, go vote. Pay attention to local politics. If you don't care about politics at all, don't be bullied into voting for somebody that you have no idea what's going on because it never ends up well. With that, thanks for watching.